Chaos Shuffle is by far the best modifier slash game mode that Dead by Daylight has introduced so far. I have a theory about why the game modifier will never become a permanent fixture in DBD. Welcome in everyone, my name is The Crow Show. If you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you enjoy talky videos about DBD. Drop a comment to let me know if you prefer tea or coffee. Let's get into the video. Judging by posts some seen on Twitter, Chaos Shuffle has introduced new life into Dead by Daylight. One of the most common complaints we see when content creators talk about concerns with DBD is that there's little variety in the perks that they face. If you're playing Survivor, the most common perks you face are Pain Resonance, Pop Goes the Weasel, Barbecue and Chili, and Lethal Pursuer. If you're playing Killer, the most common perks you face are Windows of Opportunity, Life, Adrenaline, and Resilience. Nightlight GG is not an official Dead by Daylight site, and the perks listed are gathered by people who upload the perks they face in-game. The site isn't always 100% accurate, but historically it has been fairly close to the stats when Dead by Daylight does release that data when it comes to the most commonly used perks. Now to recap, Dead by Daylight has introduced prior game modes and modifiers. The first one was Lights Out, where players loaded into the trial, everything was dark, the killer had no terror radius, survivors left no scratch marks, and there were no perks or items or offerings. There was an assortment of chests available, and there were a total of four maps available during this mode. Lights Out was fun for maybe a round or two, but the novelty went away very quickly. The second game mode introduced was My Little Oni, which was kind of a meme game mode. Survivors were miniature being chased by a gigantic Oni. When survivors got downed, Oni could step on them to finish the trial. The mode was hilarious, and overall, it was a pretty big hit with the community. It gave us a glimpse into some goofy fun that DBD could offer. The problem with this mode is that it was only fun for maybe a few rounds. Then we had to go back to the regular games where we face all the boring meta perks and the usual play styles we see on both sides. As of this recording, Chaos Shuffle modifier just ended. It's a modifier where perks were randomly assigned when entering the trial. All four perk slots were unlocked and at the third tier. If you were unaware of the perks you had equipped, you could check the match details screen and read a recap of the perks you were assigned. Killers and survivors were also able to bring any items, add-ons, and offerings to the trial. Chaos Shuffle is so popular that DBD extended the game modifier. My personal experience? I love the modifier. It's my wish that DBD keeps it forever, but the pessimist in me believes it'll never become a permanent fixture in the game. My theory is that it would be a licensing nightmare to make all of the perks available in this mode. There's no doubt that the developers behind popular chapters like Resident Evil, Project W, Alien, Silent Hill, and Halloween, to name a few, want to ensure players are paying to use their perks in-game. Even though Chaos Shuffle is completely random, there are players using perks they didn't previously have access to, like Decisive Strike, Flashbang, Reassurance, Blast Mine, etc. Just to name a few. Those are all licensed perks where you do have to pay for them using, I believe, either Oryx Cells or just paying for the DLC. Now, if you're patient and lucky, you can, through the Shrine of Secrets, unlock some of these licensed perks using Iridescent Shards. Now again, the Shrine of Secrets seems to be quite randomized and there's no real pattern of knowing when some of these licensed perks become available. It is really cool though when perks like Decisive Strike become available through the Shrine of Secrets and I'm glad that is an option. And if you're new to Dead by Daylight and if you're trying to limit the amount you spend on the game, it's always a really good idea to have Iridescent Shards available for when those opportunities pop up. It typically costs 2,000 Iridescent Shards to unlock these perks. Now again, this might be a tinfoil hat theory, but it's my guess as to why the modifier isn't here to stay. If it does return in some capacity, my guess is there will be a number of changes. For one, I hope they kill switch the majority of offerings, specifically map offerings. Some maps are incredibly slanted in favor of survivor or killer, depending on what you bring. I saw the majority of content creators suggest that add-ons and items above uncommon, that's the yellow ones, should be unavailable during this modifier. And much like the previous modes, Lights Out and My Little Oni, my guess is that DVD original perks will be the only perks available for the mode. 
Another suggestion request I've seen is that DBD re-enables Chaos Shuffle for maybe a week every month or during a random weekend each month. I really hope I'm wrong about my theory and what are your thoughts? What did you enjoy the most about Chaos Shuffle? And just as a quick reminder, two versus eight mode is just around the corner. My guess is that it won't be as popular as Chaos Shuffle, but it should have more replay value than Lights Out and My Little Oni and it should make for some really fun content. It's been a mode that the community has been begging DBD for, for many, many years. It's a very exciting time for Dead by Daylight as Chaos Shuffle just ends. That was by far the most fun I've had playing Dead by Daylight in probably several months, maybe even years. And I really hope that two versus eight mode delivers just as much fun. And I hope the community embraces it and has a really good time with it. Also, the Dungeons and Dragons chapter is out as of this recording. So it's a really great time to be a Dead by Daylight player, a Dead by Daylight content creator. There's a lot going on. And uh, you know, if you enjoy this video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one.